Hello and welcome to a less aesthetic part of my channel going on here. It is like going on 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. It is Tuesday morning, which I work night shift tonight at 11 p.m. I've been sleeping since about 2 a.m. this morning after hanging out with um, Emma on Monday. And I figured I was up, I was awake. I've cleansed my face, I've done laundry, I've cleaned my room, I've adulted on various levels. And I figured I would actually start to do a video that I mentioned in, um, I think it's a vlog or something that's a uh, skincare favorites whatever video that's going to go up before this. And in that I mentioned wanting to do a declutter of my uh, skincare backup drawers. I've got two of them. I've got a, 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 a ton of makeup that I've purchased uh, from Marshalls, from Sephora, from Ulta, because if a little bit is good, uh, more is better. Um, on my journey with this channel, I want to be a, a, a less is more type person and kind of focusing on quality and less rather than quantity because a yeah, girl has got a disgusting amount of overflow backup skincare some of this is going to be very obvious keeps because i've got like uh favorites in here as well as a huge amount of various products i've gotten from various places uh, that I haven't been using and I feel like it's time to just give this the purge and move forward with a eye towards uh, more responsible consumerism. So with that being said, I'm honestly going to pull everything out and rather than going through each piece, just oh this and this and this, I'm going to group them into categories like cleansing, moisturizing, serum, exfoliation, yada, 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 to see what I have in varying areas and then kind of go in each area to see like, oh, do I really need a sixth one of this because I've got these ones already. And with skincare, one thing that I've learned, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to run out of it all the time. And with consistent use, you do... Um, use through products and stuff like that but i i i, I have lots i could use a, a new skincare product for for years and never run out but but the expiration dates and everything like that and i'm just um feasibly not going to be able to get through all of this so i'm going to group that all up and then we're going to go back to vlog style and hopefully make sense of some of this. Ooh -ee. tell me you have a problem without telling me you have a problem. And I've also got a whole one filled with makeup crap as well. I'm gonna be doing a whole realistic declutter with makeup. That's gonna be a whole emotional thing, but I figured we'd tackle something smaller, something a little less intense and more realistic. So let's organize everything. Holy Hera, sweet mother baby, Lord baby, Jesus. I have one face. I have two cheeks, one forehead. I understand having an abundance of skincare because skincare is disgustingly important to me, but holy shit is this a lot. Okay, so I've got things kind of loosely that's like moisturizers. This is toners here. We've got some serums, some like random stuff. We've got like facial mists over here, exfoliating and cleansing. I'm going to start us off real easy with cleansing. Obviously, this is my Good Molecules uh, Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. We've talked about this one already. That one is a favorite. Um, I got this one. I heard a lot of good stuff. This is the Korean skincare, and I've heard really good things about this one. I got this one at Marshall's, um, and I really want to use this one. I'm going to keep that. One that I don't need, honestly, is this Pores No More uh, Dr. Brandt cleanser. I got it at Marshall's because it was $8, and I was like, oh... I need to whatever. I'm pretty sure this is for oily skin, which I've got normal to dry. So I'm going to set this aside and see if uh, someone in my family, my sister-in-law or Emma or her mother and all of that jazz. But it's just something I don't 
see myself reaching for when it's time to go for a new cleanser. I got this one when this one came out. I really wanted to <laughs> to try it because I really like that moisturizer they have. Um, I found this one, I believe, at... Where's the price? Somewhere. I hope I didn't. I thought I got it at Marshall's. Maybe I took the price tag off. I'm not sure, but I want to keep this one and use it. I'll actually probably set this one aside, and when I finish up this other cleanser I'm on, I'm going to either use this one next or this one because you know you have a problem when you have this one and then you're online and you're like, ah, oh, I've never, never tried the Tatcha, the deep cleanse cleanser because I actually do. I've got two. So I only need one. I'm going to try the one. I'm going to set this aside just in case I really like this. But if not, this one's going to go. And then the next stuff I've got are these Innisfree. Um, it's a very popular Korean brand. I got mine at Marshall's. If you know ingredients and brands and whatever and do your research, you can find some really good stuff at Marshall's for a really good price. This one is the green tea foam cleanser. Um, my skin really likes gel cleansers and foam cleansers and those like rice powder whatever polish cleansers. This one is the green tea and then this one is apple seed soft cleansing foam and then this one I got a while ago when I found out that Tony Moly is now cruelty free which makes me exceptionally happy. This is Again, an enzyme cleanser looking for a less expensive version of um, the Tasha one that I really like. So ugh, I'm thinking about I'm kind of inclined to keep all of these because I like cleansing. I don't know. We'll see. So for right now, got the two there and the one here. Ooh, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. I love I love skincare. Next up, pretty straightforward. This is the toning area. Obviously, I am keeping um, my two e.l.f. ones. I asked for these for my birthday and my Christmas for a couple for a little bit. Um, and these are like eight bucks. So I absolutely this is a go to. This is a holy grail. Same with the uh, glycolic exfoliating toner from Good Molecules. Absolutely love this one. As well as the Pixie. Focusing on this is really, really, come on. Do you autofocus? How do I even fix that? There you go. Not entirely sure, but this is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Another favorite. And then we've got <laughs> these ones. Because obviously if I like one, more is better. Um, now that I know what I like in a toner, I'm going to get rid of this e.l.f. one Holy Hydration. I wasn't a fan of the cleanser. I wasn't a fan of the moisturizer. This whole line just honestly, really, the toner did nothing for me. If anything, it was bad. Um, this just didn't do for my skin tone. So this is going to go. Then I've got quite a few from Bliss. This is that uh, brand that you can get. I originally found it at Target, but you can get it at some Walmarts. This is the Glow Boosting Multivitamin Toner. I think I want to keep that. Then we have the What a Melon something something toner. That's really hard to read. It's the What a Melon Replenishing Toner. And this came out when and, um, oh, what was that brand that did like the avocado and the melon and, and glow recipe that, <laughs> that brand when they were doing all that kind of stuff. And then another one from bliss is this toner, clear genius, uh, clarifying toner plus serum. I thought that was um, pretty cool. It's got a similar consistency to a product I really liked by Neutrogena, who is not cruelty-free. This stuff is cruelty-free. And then one I also got from Marshalls is this Boschka. Bo I never know how to say it. Resurfacing treatment toner with apple cider vinegar. That sounds like something that I could really, really get into. Um, I liked a lot of their products. I used a fair amount of their stuff early on in my beauty whatever journey. And then two that I'm I'm just getting rid of. These were fancy uh, limited edition wet and wild ones when I needed to have all the stuff. This is the Mega Glow Facial Toner. And then I, I hunted, I searched, I needed to have all of these beautiful rose whatevers. And then this is the uh, rose toner. I'm good. 
I'm good. I know what I like, and I don't need to try out limited edition wet and wild toners. So I'm actually going to be a terrible person, and I am going to keep all of these toners, uh, four of which I know I really, really like, as well as a couple to try in between using the ones that I really like. I think that's a good ratio to what I know and what's new to try rather than just having an unending amount of, oh, I'm going to try this. Finding a balance is something I've been really working on. Now I'm going to do this section and this section is kind of more just like random stuff. One thing I know I'm not going to keep is this clean beauty, which is another, I don't think they have it anymore, at least not at my Walmart. They had a couple products that I enjoyed, but not a huge amount that I would like re-recommend. Um, this is the Avocado Hemp Butter Sleep Mask. Just not something I see myself using. Again, I'll probably see if someone wants to have this. I mean, I've got nieces and such. I'm kind of uh, about selling uh, skincare products like on my Mercari and stuff like that. Just for whatever reasons, I will be updating it with makeup, though, when I go through that declutter. Then we've got oh my goodness this was again when that glow recipe thing was really big and I was like oh I want to I want to try these things if blah 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 I don't use masks um my sleep schedule is weird I've got my uh routine as much as it is I just don't see myself using something like this so this is gonna go as well as sheet masks I'm like oh I want to be a sheet mask person I, I never never ever ever use sheet masks like once in a blue moon i'm more likely to use like these eye patches which i am going to keep because i'm sure i spent a butt ton of money on these and these are the cucumber detox hydrogel eye padded eye patches from peter thomas roth so i will hold on to these and be more because i just i forget it and i'm just like oh when's the last time i used you know eye patches or a freaking mask i'll send these to my nieces and they can have it they can have a spa day i'm not too sure about this because this is a peeling mask and i have i have opinions on peeling masks i get horrified sometimes when people use those deep poor black ones because yes it's super satisfying but when something's like so tight and that oh on my skin and then the ripping and the tearing it just kind of gives me ooh agita so uh, this is a peel off mask i'm not entirely i don't know about that and then i've got again a berry nurturing gel mask from olay henriksen again it was a marshall's special okay so this um i looked at the deck directions is just like a part of your routine i guess it would be after i tone because it's like oh put it on and then leave it on for 20 minutes and then peel it off i just i just not peel it off rinse it off i'm just not entirely sure how devoted i am to pursuing uh, a mask like this i'm just gonna be real with y'all am i am i am i am i too lazy <laughs> to pursue something like this in my skincare routine so not entirely sure about this another marshall's special kate somerville wrinkle warrior uh pink plumping mask i mean it sounds like a good time this refreshing gel mask with its wrinkle warrior power pink color feels like an instant burst of cooling hydration formulated with our age calm Conquering secret weapon HA, featuring three different sizes of hyaluronic acid. It plumps, hydrates, and smooths the appearance of wrinkles, revealing younger looking skin with just one use. What did you find? Hammy? 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 He found a bird. Hamlet. Hamlet. Let it go. Tell everyone what you did. He said, I found. A dead bird. I don't know if he killed it himself or if he found it. Where'd you get it? I, the doors are closed in the house. He's an indoor cat. Where did you find it? Where did you get it? Where'd you get it? Y'all, I'm gonna lose my shit. My beautiful little baby boy brought down a whole fucking bird. Like, not a little bird, like a bird bird. And he was yeeting it around and flinging it around. I was like, he's an indoor cat. He is an indoor cat. How? I went upstairs. I was like, how the fuck is he going to get this bird? Indoor cat. Found this bird. And apparently, 
Our patio doors, we've had some really crazy wind. It had pushed it open. The only guess I can have is that it came through the double doors there and he made a whole bird. And it wasn't one he'd found. It was limp. Rigor hadn't, hadn't set in yet. My little, little hunter. And he comes in. He, and luckily he just lets me you know, move him out of the side and keep him from it. Thank God for that. He's got a bird. He's got mice. He is the wild jungle kitty. But oh my, I just, it's so funny. I was just going through and he just goes like, what you got, Hammy? Oh shit, no. A whole fucking bird. A whole, whole fucking bird. He's smelling for it. He's like, where did you take it? I put it in the trash. In three plastic bags. <laughs> So you wouldn't be able to find it. Oh, mommy takes away all the fun out of everything. But I think I was talking about this. It sounded all kinds of wonderful and fun. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Next up, also a Marshall special is this, uh, excuse me, Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Volumizing Mask. Again, another mask. I must have gone through a phase. Oh, this is in a, it says using the brush, apply on cleansed skin, starting at the chin, moving to the cheekbones, draw an inverted triangle targeting the hollows on the face, gently pat more 3D volumizing mask into lines and wrinkles, leave on, use daily. Okay, I don't have to rinse that off. So that's a bit more <laughs> interesting. Again, I'm not sure yet. Well, this wasn't a very helpful section. I thought I was going to be getting rid of everything in this section. I want to be realistic here. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to those. Oh, geez. Because these all say they do wonderful things. It's like hydrates and nourishes and, and all kinds of shit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull like this one or maybe this one out and use it and see if I, well, this one's a peeling one. This one, uh, you wash off, going to see if it's a routine thing that I'm willing to do. Like how often do you use this shit? Two to three times for a week. Okay. So this may be something, it's not an everyday thing. So I'm not entirely sure if I'll remember to use it every two to three or once a week, you know? But I'll pull this out and see again if it does anything to my skin that seems worth actually pursuing. So these three products we're gonna put on standby to even see if a step like this is viable within my routine. Then I've just got these um, serums. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Pure cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I've tried uh, oils like this before. They don't really do much for me. Um, I'd rather just have a serum rather than an oil. Then I've got this one, 3HA, BHA Clear Serum. What does this say it does for my face? I have absolutely no idea because it's all in Korean. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the Boschka one here and I'm going to declutter this one to whomever. Then a source of a lot of humor is facial sprays. I have got a massive amount of facial sprays, makeup setting sprays, makeup refresher sprays. These are more skincare related ones. I'm going to have to go through the giant tub I have of makeup setting sprays, essentially since, um, especially since I'm using makeup a lot less. So these ones are going to be picked from a skincare point of view, not a makeup one. Uh, I really do actually like the pixie ones. This is the glow mist, which I enjoy. And then this one is the hydrating milky mist. So I'll keep those two. I'm going to get rid of this wet and wild, again, limited edition mega glow face mist. Just, just, just not happening. I've got a bunch of these and apparently Mario Badescu isn't that amazing. Um, I feel like when it comes to skincare, there's a lot of, I don't know, information between like dermatologists and other people. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get a straight through and through um, opinion and whatever on stuff. So I'm going to set this one aside because I think I have like two big ones of, or at least one big one of this. And if I do, I don't need this one because again, 
takes forever. And considering the fact that I have so many others, I can live without this one. One that I absolutely love, and I honestly don't even know if they still make this. If you want your face to look radiant, dewy, and glorious, absolutely amazing. This was fantastic for foundation, uh, just straight up on my skin. If I ever want to look healthy and replenished and beautiful, this is the shit to use. I'm gonna hold on to this one because it's just a nice, uh, it's, it was a toner mist, water drencher, hyaluronic cloud, keep that. Um, and then I've got the pure miracle mist, keeping that. And then I have the hangover three in one prime set refresh that I'm also going to keep as well. Taking into consideration the fact that I'm going to be get rid of, getting rid of the majority of my other facial sprays because I have a lot and I'm sure the majority of them have just probably gone rancid at this point and I've got to face that reality. Surprisingly, for as much as I absolutely um, love <laughs> moisturizer, I don't have a huge amount of it. I'm keeping this one, which is the Sika cream. Absolutely love this. It's a beautiful gel esque um moisturizer it's got really nice age repair it just really does wonderful things for my skin tone hydration wise tone wise it's it's just all around a really good cream haven't used yet but paid for and am going to use the Marc Jacobs Youthquake which I'm honestly really happy that this is a moisturizer but it's also like fucking like beyond just like moisturizer it does other things as well and I had heard really good things about this and I bought the full size because that's the way I am and I really want to try it out and use it obviously we are keeping the tried and two true the dewy skin cream absolutely love this shit I've said it a multitude of times phenomenal phenomenal this is my nighttime when I sleep really deep moisture it just plumps my skin, makes it look beautiful, decadent, delicious. It's expensive, but I love it. And next up, I've got the Holy Hydration uh, Face Cream. I'm not entirely... <sighs> I like the eye, uh, eye cream of this, but it had like a white cast to it, and I'm afraid that this is going to do uh, the exact same thing. I actually think I'm going to hold on to this one, but I am going to uh, declutter the Mineral SPF by Clean Beauty Face Moisturizer. I've got other um, SPF and sunscreen things that I think are going to be better than just this one right here. I got it because I was going to do a whole video on Clean Beauty and it just never happened. I haven't opened it, so it's going to go. As well as these, um, I think these were just, yeah, from Beautylish. I tried one of them, wasn't really a huge fan. So there, you get a nice amount of product in these, but I'm just not going to use them because I didn't like how it worked on my skin. And another spray I'm keeping is the uh, Jeffree Star Holy Mist Soothing Facial Spray. I hope to high heavens it doesn't have shimmer or anything in it and it's just a straight up fucking um, facial spray and not something that's like, oh, I have glitter in me. Because again, I'm going from coming from a skincare standpoint, not a makeup standpoint, but I am going to hold on to this and see how it is. And then we have my favorite section of all, which is the exfoliation. Right off the bat, I am keeping my Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion. I have it. I like it. I use it. If you're in the market for something like that, I would highly recommend the Bliss Micro Magic. Very much keeping that as well. And also the Wishful Yo Glow. This is another go-to favorite that I like having on hand. And then all the rest of these are just kind of... Jeez, they're here. Um, This is the Acai Face Scrub. Because it's always hard to tell whether I like an exfoliator or not. Oh, it's a powder? No. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the physical exfoliation feel when it comes to an exfoliator. I know that can sometimes be dangerous because like the Ole Henriksen walnut scrub situation. Um, I do have this one right here. This is the Bliss Jelly Glow Peel. Um, I have two of them because I have issues with knowing what I have already purchased. I'm going to keep one and I'm going to see how that goes and put this on hiatus with that Tatcha cleanser as well. 
to see if I like it. And if I do, there's no point in getting rid of it because then I won't have to repurchase another one in the future. Mm, then I've got this one here. Oh my goodness. What kind of skin is this for? I just feel so bad because I like bought this stuff and I'm just not sure what. It says it's a cleansing, exfoliating cleanser. Um, Let's see here. I've got this one from Totally Accurate. Um, I think I'm going to let this one go just because compared to other ones, it doesn't look like something I'm going to reach for. So that one's going to go. Then we have this fruit enzyme. I'm going to keep this one. That one sounds like it's got a bunch of ingredients that I like and look for. And then we've got the egg peeling gel, which I'm thinking, I'm hoping... It's going to be something similar to this, which is why I'm going to keep it and try it out. Then I've got these face polishes from 4th Ray Beauty because um, I was making an order and I was like, might as well add some more to this. These honestly smell so amazing. I want to put it in the refrigerator and then just squeezy tube it into my mouth. I'm just like, mm, fruity deliciousness. I have the watermelon and I've got the strawberry. I've got this one. And this one. Oh my goodness. Exfoliators are, oh, it's such a weak spot for me because I love exfoliation. I just love skincare. And it's always important to look at your exfoliator and see how often they recommend it. Um, This is supposed to be every one, uh, every uh, once to twice a week, uh, one to two times a week, or as a like uh, weekly treatment. And that's the same with these. Oh my goodness, because these are the three that I know and love. I'm really interested in trying these. I'm going to see if they still like have this because I'm like, if they don't have it, then I'm not sure. This I really want to keep and try. So we've got like, do this once, then another one. Do this once, then another one. Do this once, then another one. I'm also currently going through one of those, so I can. I won't feel bad if I add another one. So I will add those two. If I end up liking, uh, not liking these ones, um, my nieces. I feel like this is a good um, 16 and or 17 and 17 and 15. I think. Um, and same with the. I am a terrible, terrible, terrible person. I just tell myself. You cannot buy any more exfoliants. I don't need to buy any kind of skincare in all honesty. I mean, not a lot of progress was made. Uh, this is the keep. And then that... <laughs> Ew, so tiny! <laughs> is the uh, get rid of... Oh my goodness. I knew this was going to be hard because my life has been like in the beauty verse for so long and now kind of like disconnecting from that. Although disconnecting from the beauty is different than disconnecting from the skincare because that's still very much a thing, especially since I'm not wearing nearly as much makeup. So to have a fresh, healthy, clean face is is the aesthetic that I'm going for. It wasn't an amazing declutter, but I guess little steps are better than no steps at all. And I am going to be decluttering all of those skin facial things. I may even include that in this depending on how long this is. But that's what I managed to do for this. If you made it this far, give yourself a big ol' fucking gold star. I'm just looking forward going on into and kind of reaching the, uh, the de-influencing trend now where it's like, I'm just, I'm looking to be a more realistic and responsible consumer. And plus also adding my kind of withdrawal from like being 110% in the beauty community. I've just got so, y'all, so much shit. That's going to be a massive emotional overhaul. Um, I've been kind of putting that off. So I think starting with this in a declutter is a good starting point for me. At least it's a bit less horrifying now it's the other two drawers were absolutely packed this one still is freakishly freakishly full but so long as i can keep a tab on my spending having the skincare i feel is a bit more practical than the makeup because eventually i will be going through this shit and hopefully i'll be able to keep showing you guys in future vlogs how i am pursuing and doing with being a less insane consumer of just shit on a hole and taking stock of the stuff I already have. That's part of my problem. I'm like, well, I need to keep buying stuff. It's like, no, you don't. 
You got makeup. You got skincare at home. You don't need that shit. Thank you all for who are watching. I really, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog or video.